CBC Concert Hall. As usual, our commentator tonight will be Godfrey Rideout, and here he is to introduce the program. Good evening. The custom of singing carols is an ancient one. On Christmas Eve, singers moved from door to door, rejoicing and exhorting others to do likewise, the morrow being the happiest birthday in Christendom. Nowadays, Christmas Eve seems to have extended itself, and every night for what seems weeks before Christmas, our homes are visited by all manner of groups, ranging from small urchins with indifferent voices looking for an easy dime, to the well-organized and euphonious Salvation Army. Tonight, through a radio, rather than your door or window, you will hear the well-organized and euphonious Elizabethan singers of Stratford, directed by Gordon Scott. So, a virgin most pure, this endless night, and poverty. A virgin most pure, and the prophet to tell, has brought forth a baby, a sick, a fever, to be a redeemer from death, hell, and sin, which Adam's transgressions has wrapped of sin, and therefore be merry. Oh, 
A Virgin Most Pure, This Endless Night, and Poverty, sung by the Elizabethan singers directed by Gordon Scott. Now to echo carols. One German, arranged by Hugo Jungst, and the other French, arranged by Alfred Whitehead. German and a French echo carol. Of the next item, we know the origin. It was composed by Guillaume Costelet, a Norman who lived from 1531 until 1606 and was, as one of his title pages says, organist in ordinary and valet de chambre to the king, the king in this case being Charles IX of France. Here is his Alain Gay Bergère. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no,
That was Guillaume Costelet's Allons Gay Bergère. Now a group of carols from several countries. The Flemish carol, A Little Child on the Earth Has Been Born, here arranged by Julius Röntgen, bears a strong resemblance to the German Josef Lieber Josef Mein. Then a Tyrolese carol, Valentine a Tiding, arranged by Leslie Bell to the tune Ihr Hirten stert alle auf, and the well-known Rocking, a Czech carol arranged by Martin Shaw. <laughs> The next group consists of a Spanish carol, Torches, the words of which are from Galicia, the music adapted from a tune collected by that great Spanish musical archaeologist, Philippe Pedro, and a Ukrainian carol of the bells, arranged by Vilhuski. Thank you. 
Those were two carols, one Spanish and one Ukrainian, sung by the Elizabethan singers, directed by Gordon Scott. To wind up tonight's festivities, we'll hear three English carols. The Yeoman's Carol, found in Dorset, is distinguished musically by having two five-bar phrases, followed by two regular four-bar phrases. King Herod and the Cock was collected in Worcestershire, and the story is very old. Joy Seven, the last of the group, refers to the joys of Mary as she watches the progress of her son. The tune from Somerset may remind some of you, as it did me, of the nursery song, The Three Little Mitten Kittens, They Lost Their Mittens. Thank you. 
Christmas carols sung by the Elizabethan singers of Stratford. Directed by